So we're here today because we're launching a Black Ambition Bar. I'm super proud of that. We're gonna collect pro all the proceeds from this bar will go to Black Ambition. At the same time, we're also gonna offer our mentorship as Tony Stockholmly to anyone who you know is interested in how to build an impact company. And so Pharrell, we're very you know very proud to be part of your project. And I wanted to ask you, how do you see the connection between Black Ambition and and what? what Tony's is doing. Well, there is a uh, literal connection, right? The literal connection is, I think, you and I think, um, and Hank is the CEO. Yeah, Hank. I think it's in his heart to do the right thing for African diaspora. Um, when um, you think about um, you know, the child labor laws that are ignored in the chocolate industry, um, uh, slavery that is still uh, alive and well uh, in the chocolate industry. Um, I think if you have a conscious and you're working in a business where there are these systemic issues, I think it's, 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 it's your obligation it should be your privilege and your pleasure. And that's what I feel from Hank, and that's what I feel from you. And that's why when you approached me about the company, you were like, no, don't just come join the company, like really come see what it is that we're doing and help us think about these things even more. And so that to me made the perfect connection for black ambition because I am a black man. And so, you know, becoming a partner in the brand, um, I'm an entrepreneur, right? So it's only right, it's an extremely poetic that we would do something like this together. So Mary, you are the president of TCU. Um, so tell no me, what do you- TCU, but who's counting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so what is your vision on Black Ambition? What do you believe it will bring? Well, I, I love the term that Pharrell has chosen, Black ambition. And I, and I have to say his vision is, is so clear and so right and so timely. Uh, the fact that he's chosen HBCUs makes all the sense in the world because for over a century, this is where Black ambition has collected and been grown and developed. Our new vice president is a product of an HBCU. But in point of fact, this access that he's talking about, this access to education in particular, this is what we have been doing for years, gathering black students and giving them that scaffolding and giving them that insight into what it takes to, in his words, pop a wheelie, right? And, uh, and do that and do that with skill and grace. So working with us, we have in fact uh, started at many HBCUs curricula in black entrepreneurship. What is a business model? What is a market? How do you protect your ideas? All of these things are things that can be learned. And so by, by bringing this competition to our campuses, we can accelerate that. And it's not just a competition. It's not just here's some money, go, go you know, figure out if you can come up with an idea. It's mentorship. It's bringing other experts to the table to work. It's several teams working together. And even if they're not the final prize winner, it means you have a dozen or more teams who have developed these great ideas who can still take them out in the world. And if there's one thing that we need to do in order to achieve social justice in this country, it's to close the income inequality gap. And that's what this does. This begins very methodically to begin to build entrepreneurs, to build black wealth and begin to close that, that in income inequality gap. So this is huge, it really is. Thank you. Yeah, we're, like I said, we're super proud to be part of your initiative. I think Tony's first and foremost, we're a chocolate company, of course, but we were founded to, to create change. We wanted to create change in West Africa, to bring wealth to West Africa, to bring opportunity to the people there. And so that's also where I see the connection between Tony's and, and Black Ambition. And I'm especially very grateful that we can be doing something together instead of talking about it. Yeah. We, 
do something to change. And I think that's also why I'm really looking forward that we're going to do more in the yeah. future. Like this is just the first initiative we're employing together, but we will be doing more together and we're you know, dreaming up other things that we can do to bring change and equality to this world. And I thank you guys for that. The other thing that I was going to say too, that I, I forgot to say is that the other, the other really strong symbolic notion is that when I was asked to come and work with the company, um, because you guys had so much concern and consideration for the plight of the African diaspora, um, when I was asked to come on and work with the company, um, I, am, I am a black entrepreneur, you know, I'm a black man, and black ambition itself looks to do that with, you know, black founders. And so there was like a, there was, there was something very poetic about the fact that I was asked to, to come and partner with the company as a black man, an American black man, a descendant of enslaved people. Um, and here we are thinking of great, you know, great ways to foster um, more black entrepreneurial uh, concepts, working with the likes of, you know, uh, the president of Spelman, Dr. Mary Schmidt Campbell. Um, and, you know, working at, with an institution like Spelman, Spelman in itself, you know, like who'd, 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 who'd ever thought, right? Yeah. But the time has come. Yeah. The time has come for us to have these kinds of um, partnerships with, like I, like I keep saying, the prestigious um, historic black colleges and universities. Thank you. No, thank well, you. Well, really looking forward to this. Thank you, Dr. Mary Campbell. Very honored to, uh, to be working with you. Very honored to be working with you and looking forward to the future. Well, no, thank, thank you. Thank you for the sponsorship from Tony's Chapalone and, and for the vision from Pharrell Williams. Um, this is an extraordinary partnership. And I know five years from now, we're going to be looking back and say, you know, we all changed the world. Thank you. So thanks. Thank you so no, much. Thank you. And thank you to all the, the, the educators, the professors, you know, and yes. the student body there at Spelman, all those beautiful, beautiful women, those beautiful, beautiful black thank women, you. all those bright minds. Yes. Thank you. Thank yes. you to, to, to all yeah. of you. Thank you.